Chinumbu is not my preferred candidate for president. I am the father to all, says the Olu of Wari. Olu of Wari has clarified to the public that Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Chinumbu is not his favorite presidential candidate. He did this via his Instagram handle on the 16th of April 2022. In this video, we are going to be looking into the events that led to this, and I will also read out the official letter posted by the Olu of Wari. Hello, this is Becky Culture TV, where we share content that evolves around people, events, and places. If you are new to the channel, you are most definitely welcome. You can become a family member by joining us on our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'll be so happy to have you as part of the Becky Culture family. If you're already a family member, then you know I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the video, please go ahead and click the like button and also share the video with your friends. Now let's get right into the topic. So actually this development came as a surprise to me at first because I have not seen or noticed any solid relationship between Tinubu and the Olu of Worry. You guys know I post a lot about the Olu of Worry and since you know following his activities online from his coronation till date from his visit to governors, monarchs, and political leaders, I haven't seen anything that could insinuate that Tsunubu is his favorite candidate. If there is any presidential candidate that has a relationship with the Olu of Wari, that will be Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. But even at that, the, the Olu of Wari has not made any public declaration that Osibanjo is his favorite candidate. So after a little research, I found that there was actually some information published that insinuates that the Olu of Wari endorsed Bola Ahmed Tunumbu as his preferred candidate. I found an article published by the Nation newspaper on their official website titled Tunumbu Prepared for Leadership, says Olu of Wari. Presently, that is the only article I could find online related to this topic, so I'm going to be reading what they wrote. It says, the Olu of Wari Ogyame Atuwashe Thod has described the national leader of all progressive congress, Asiwaju Bola Tunumbu, as an experienced and competent presidential aspirant. The eminent monarch said the former governor of Lagos is the most qualified person to lead Nigeria in 2023. The traditional ruler spoke when he received a delegation of the Southwest Agenda for Asiwaju Swaga 23 and Delta State for Bola Ahmed Tunumbu Despat 23 in his palace. The monarch said that he is familiar with the curriculum vitae of Tunumbu, saying he is a confirmed achiever in life and it is time for him to run for president. Delta State in general and Wari in particular is home for him. While wishing him the best in his bid, Ogiyame Atuwashe said Tunumbu has been preparing for presidency for a very long time and has touched many lives and I am sure if he is given the mandate to lead, he will not disappoint the nation. So that was the article published by the Nation newspaper on their official website. So like I said earlier, I would also be reading out the declaration made by Olu of Wari on his Instagram handle. Tinumbu most qualified person to lead Nigeria, Olu of Wari, a rebuttal. On the instructions of His Majesty Ogiame Atuwashe Thord, the Olu of Wari, firmly rebut the statement claiming Ogiame's endorsement of Asiwaju Bola Hamed Tunumbu and restates that Ogiame has no political affiliation or preferred political candidate for any office in the forthcoming 2023 elections, be it at the regional, sub-national or national level. Ogiame is father figure to all and has no personal favorite or special interest in any candidate or political party vying for any office in the forthcoming elections, one way or another, and would therefore not endorse or discredit any candidate to the detriment or advantage of others. The headline credited to Ogiame in the referenced quotes have been taken out of context and reworked to suit a specific narrative. 
they cannot be further from the truth for an unclear motive the writer contravenes the palace avowed rule of non partis of not partisanship Ogiame is a father figure to all who have a genuine interest in advancing the course of development of our nation. Ogiame is duty bound to receive and prefer advice and blessings to all those who seek his audience and counsel. Therefore, His Majesty Ogiame Atuashi Thord, the Olu of Worry, is using this medium to make this important clarification for the avoidance of doubt and further requesting that in the future any queries and clarifications on palace communications should be directed to the palace media office thank you mr oriz owuja head head back office operations office of ogiame atsuwashi third that is what was published on the instagram page of the olu of worry i would like to hear from you i would like to know your opinions on this and like i said earlier if you have more information about this old story this old mix up between the olu of worry and tunumbu you can contact me you can send me an email you can contact me on my instagram handle i'll be so happy and i'll appreciate the information so that will be all for now concerning the story if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the family you are most definitely welcome you can become a family member by joining us on our social media handles on youtube and on facebook and please click the notification bell so you can get free notifications whenever there's a new upload if you're already a family member thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you in my next one love you